Hi guys, so today I have Mona Katan back with me. <laughs> I'm so happy um, to see you again. Me too, me too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for filming with me again. Thank you for having me. No, Thank of you. course. I know that a lot of you guys really enjoyed our last video because I we were both going through the comments apparently and a lot of people were very happy with our video and it's nice to have you know, somebody to film with and hear different opinions, etc. I really wanted to do a video on local brands because I often get asked a lot since I've been in Dubai, what are my favorite local brands? And guys, I really don't have an idea about them, to be honest, because it's very overwhelming. There's a lot of brands and I don't even know where to start. So I wanted to bring in a professional today. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if I'm a professional. I know that you're very much uh, familiar with a lot of the local brands in the Middle East. So I yes. wanted to do this video with you. I thought it would be perfect. So we Thank have you. a lot of fragrances here. We I do. <laughs> we do. Honestly, at first I was like, okay, let's pull the top ones. But then we kept going at it and I was like actually realizing yeah. how many local brands we have. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's, but don't you think like if you're somebody coming from abroad, coming to Dubai for the first time, a lot of people want to buy like a local brand from UAE or from totally. Middle East. Like, they really want to buy a local brand. Yeah. So and like I said, for me, coming from Australia, wanting to smell all the perfumes, it's very overwhelming. So I'm happy to have Mona to kind of guide us through what are Thank her you. favorite brands. And I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. There's a lot. And um, yeah. like you mentioned, I feel like Dubai is really a place where you can actually travel here to shop for fragrances. Like 100%. it's definitely a shopping destination, but it's also a perfume shopping destination. Like if you're a perfume lover, you have to put Dubai in your bucket list and come here 100%. to buy fragrances. It's like one candy land. <laughs> it's candy land for sure. Yes. I remember like the first time I came here and I got out the airport and I was like, like it already smells like rose and oud, like just out of the airport. Crazy. Like everywhere in Dubai smells like perfume. I'm so happy you moved here. You belong here because <laughs> it's like a perfume lover's dream. It and is like, really. You know, I mentioned on my channel once, you know, when, when we I really wanted to start creating a brand, it was really inspired by being in Dubai because like I think just being here you fall in love with fragrances like yeah. even more. Even though I know you already were no, in love, of but course. like it's true. It will, it will heighten that love. Exactly. Yeah. And for me even like uh Back in the day, I was just spraying one perfume, that's it. Now that I'm in Dubai, I'm layering, I'm putting oils, I'm getting into Bahor, yeah. putting, <laughs> like everything. So the first brand I wanted to share with you is the Bloom Club. And I think we actually sprayed this on one of our videos. I, I think so. Did. It's the TFK? TFK, okay, yes. Okay, Fragrance so Kitchen. The Fragrance, the fragrance kitchen. kitchen, right. Okay. So this was actually created by, I think he's a Kuwaiti royal um member and um he created this brand he has so many beautiful fragrances all of the bottles are really pretty they I like, like artwork done on yeah. them and i just find that the juices are super interesting and also very long lasting we smelled this one last time i think time, we right? did i always spray it yeah <laughs> and it's like a very complex like leather mm -hmm. fresh a little animal mm, i love it so much it's so beautiful and all of their scents are like they're kind of, I wouldn't say they're like Kaeli, but they remind me of Kaeli in the sense that they're like Eastern and Western. Okay. So like yes. I feel like this could be attractive to someone who's from the region or someone who's like completely from like the US or the UK who doesn't yeah. like the very oody fragrances. Yeah. So I, I love that it's kind of a cross between both worlds. Yeah. Because not all Middle Eastern brands are just straight up oud. There are some, yeah. uh, a lot of different uh, variations. That's definitely like and a this misconception. Yeah. Like some, yeah. some brands are very like, just I guess global and international but this is definitely one of them where I yeah. feel like anyone could love this brand. So the next brand I really want to highlight is Amouage and this is a fragrance from Oman and I think this is also the Oman royal family. I'm not yes. sure. Yeah. I think it there's is. some sort of, okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I love this brand. Number Me 1, too. the juices are insanely amazing and again, very similar to TFK where it's like it could be something for people from the Middle East would like it, but also yeah. international people would like it too. Yeah. The bottle is such good quality. Like, oh, it's incredible. Yeah. And there's like a story behind the caps and everything. It's supposed to be like the mosque, the yes. top of the women's, and the men is supposed to be like the Omani knife, I believe. I didn't know that about the <coughs> men's version, because yeah, we do have some, but I did. I knew this was inspired by the mosque, but I didn't yeah. know about the men's version. That's so cool. Yeah, it's very cool. That we actually so went cool. to, Pierre and I went to Oman earlier this year, and we got to see like the factory, so and cool. it was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. So the, the top of this one, it's like the, it's supposed to be like the knife. And this one is Love to Rose. Oh yeah. Which I love to Rose um, <laughs> personally. And again, just a beautiful scent. Do you yeah. spray this I one? have smelled this one too. Okay. I know how it is. It's a beautiful, yeah. like sweet, oh my God, yummy to Rose scent. Beautiful. Must try guys. Yeah, I think Amouage is one of the most uh, highly respected niche brands mm -hmm. and also local brands from here. 
And I think it's like, especially after going through development yourself, you really start to appreciate the details because you know how much work and investment it takes. Like this cap probably cost them a fortune and yeah. the development probably cost a yeah. lot. So I think once you go through that process, you realize, you really like, realize the details, like exactly. how much effort was put into it. So the bottle is just, everything's so good. Yeah. Yeah. You really feel the quality of that watch. Absolutely. Like you, you pay the money, but you get the quality. So. Right, a hundred percent. I had to include Abdul Samad Al Quraishi in this video, but all I have from him is like one of his oud oils. Okay. But we have to include him because he's like an OG and like a huge player in the fragrance world here for oud, for bukhur, um, and also other just other perfumes and stuff. Yeah. But um, he's huge, and this is. Do you like oud? I like oud, but not too much oud. Like this um, is very oudy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is very oody, but actually it's nice. Like a drop. Yeah. A drop, and then yeah. like when you spray the perfume on top, I feel yeah. like it goes a long way. Yeah. So we had, I just feel like we have to spotlight him. You just have to say his name. Him. Yeah. Um, and, as well as a few others. Like, I think that we could also talk about like Ajmal. Okay. The same, like Ajmal is definitely like a huge player here for like just original like oud, as well as perfumes as well. Okay. And their perfumes, do they have some that are more appealing to like the Western market, etc.? Or, or it's more do. like Middle East or targeted? You know, for Abdul Samad Akrishi, I have to be honest, I'm not sure if they have like Western style okay. fragrances, but because when I go there, I typically go there for, for like the, the Middle Eastern ones, yeah. like the Ouds. Um, but I know that Rasasi, for example, has a lot of like yes, Western I've, ones. I've seen. They have this one here called Romance, which apparently was like a big OG here in the region, like from Rosassi. Yeah. Okay. Well, Jim's a lot of right? people, yeah, a lot of people, especially men, they love uh, Rosassi Hawass. Hawass. It's Hawass. I don't know if I have that it's uh, it's really nice. It smells like a very famous men's fragrance that was mm. discontinued a few years ago. So I know that they have a lot of like appealing fragrances. Okay. To, like, uh, and they're probably like inspired by exactly. Other ones. Okay. Exactly. So this one, my one of my best friends, Hanif, the secret. Oh, nice! <gasps> it's like she recommends. She's like, this one is rose. like. It was like back in the day, every girl had it. Oh uh, yeah, bag. yeah. Okay. It's also very affordable, like very accessible, and it's available in like almost every mall. I guess since we're like on the conversation of oud, I'd love to talk about um, this brand called Hindal Oud. Okay, which I is, have heard of this brand. Yeah, so Hindal Oud is a really cool brand. Um, it was founded by um, Hamid Halal who also created Khaltat, and um, I think he either purchased or created Anfasak Tahun. I think he might have bought it. Okay, so he has like several brands He now. has a few brands, and they're all really like successful. So yeah. Hendel Oud is kind of like the most prestigious brand where it's kind of expensive, a little bit more hard to find. Khaltat is like the mid-range one, and Anfasak Tahun is like the more accessible, lower price point brand, but they're all really cool, very different as well. Like each brand is so unique. But Hendel Oud is probably my favorite Oud I've ever tried. Like this one in oh, particular. Yeah? Okay. This is called Sheikh Abdullah. Sorry, the bottle's no. a bit too sticky. I'm excited. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Oh, it's skin? really nice. Yeah, it on you? So this one, I know, I'm sorry. I hope you like it. <laughs> but, um, this one for me is, in all honesty, probably my favorite Oudi Oud I've ever tried. <laughs> Oudi Oud. Like strong Oud, you know? Like, yeah. Oh, it's really nice. And it's very, um... It doesn't, for me, when it comes to oud, I don't like oud that's super animalic and like mm -hmm. dirty. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one, it's still animalic, but mm -hmm. not as much, and I really like it. This like is one of my favorites. Yeah, I don't know what it really is, good. I don't know like what's inside here. And you like to layer this? I do, yeah. So you like put on the oud and then you layer your perfumes? Yeah. The oud is something like, I feel like it's going to become more integrated into the Western culture, but slowly. Like they need so. a little like, uh, a little a push. like yeah, yeah a little push i'm gonna go for this oh. one right here. <laughs> uh -huh. i didn't know what to expect when i knew that you had uh -huh. a perfume brand because you never know when like an influencer beauty influencer creates a brand you're not really sure what it's gonna be and if it's gonna be um amazing if it's gonna be good if it's gonna be like not very good and i didn't know how much and how deep your roots were for perfume uh -huh. And I think that really shows within Kayali because even down to the bottle, the sprayer, the juice, the lab that Mona is working with, the biggest lab in the industry, like it really shows. And I'm just like so proud of you for your brand. I think Thank it's you. Just... I'm going to hug you. Yeah. <laughs> you were the Something. first one to try Deja Vu. Do you remember? Yes. <laughs> it was the first time we met. And I remember just thinking, oh my God, what if Debbie doesn't like it? No, like, honestly. She like, was the first person to try it. And I was so nervous. And I was like, oh my God, no. she, she loves it. I hope. And, Deja Vu um, is actually yeah. my favorite because if you watch watch my channel you're watching my channel i um i'm a big fan of like very sexy sensual white florals not too much i'm not the biggest fan of like uh 
heavy animalic jasmine whatever i like that very soft sensual white flow and deja vu for me is just perfect so this brand actually just launched it's called okay. strata and i actually love that the bottle is so tiny it's a spray it's a spray <laughs> it's a baby spray it's a 30 ml okay at first i was like oh it's like small for me because i go through perfume so fast but i then i was like it's actually so cute how it's tiny yeah it's pretty um cute. it's just it's like a little mini adorable right yeah um so it it's is, a new brand it's a new brand they just launched they sent me this uh the fifth ave um, I don't feel like it reminds me of Fifth Ave though, I have to be honest, like for me this is a very Middle Eastern juice. Mm -hmm. It is long lasting though. The juices are nice. Okay. And the founder is from here? They're based here. Oh, it's really nice. Isn't it nice? It kind of smells like it has candy or something. Candy right? for sure. It has that Middle Eastern touch, but it yeah. has a lot of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Very sweet, very, um, I, I really like it. Me too. This one surprised me because when they first sent it, I was like, okay, like, oh. <laughs> you know, um, let's see. I'm not, I wasn't sure, but Actually, after really nice. smelling it, I was like, I want all of their fragrances. Wow, it's really nice. Send me and Demi all your fragrances, <laughs> please. It has that kind of Baccarat Rouge candy vibe. It does. But yeah, then food in definitely. the back. Definitely. That's such a great um, yeah. observation. It does have a Baccarat Rouge mm -hmm. something. I don't know what it is. I feel like everyone is getting a little inspired <laughs> by the Baccarat Rouge. Definitely. <laughs> But it's still very nice. Has yeah. the oud there. Mm -hmm. This is from Edgemel actually. So this is the fat the oud um, factory I mentioned. Ah uh, yes, okay. Same brand. So Edgemel, um, they have their own brand. They have their own stores, but they also supply oud to people. Okay. So they supply oud to a lot of other brands mm -hmm. um, through even Fear Manish works with them as well oh, as their oh, oud okay. supplier. So they're huge in the oud industry. I wonder if this is real oud chips. Probably not because it's so expensive. <laughs> that would be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really expensive. Um, and for those of you watching, I'm sure Demi's probably mentioned this before, but oud is known as liquid gold in the perfume industry for, because it's so expensive. Yeah. So they, they, it's really something that's very, very um, precious. Precious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. While we're on the topic of oud, what is your current like favorite oud fragrance? Do you have um, one? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I have a lot of stuff that I love so much. Um, if I had to pick one brand that I feel like has done it really well, oh god, it's so hard. There's so many. I mean, maybe I'd pick Tom Ford. Oh yeah? Okay. I think they've done a phenomenal job with Oud, um, making it global. Oh, 100%. Making it appeal globally. Yeah. And they're, I'm looking at the background no, 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 no. and I'm like, oh my god, there's so many. They're all staring That's at me with question. a mad face right now. They're all like, <laughs> what? You forgot about me. I think Frederick Moll has done Oud. Whoa. Yeah. Not, personally, I wouldn't wear them because like yeah, they're, they're so strong. They're so strong. <laughs> they're like, really uh, strong. You're going to like make someone like faint by wearing yes. these, but they're. I think the quality is like yes. insane. Don't quote me, but I think Edgemo supplies some of their. Oh food, wow. I remember them mentioning something okay. about it. So I think I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. From the bottle, I was expecting something like oud, Middle think, East. This is kind of like, like floral. It kind of powdery. reminds me of Giordano almost. Yeah, something about it has Giordano vibes. So yeah. Yeah. So okay. So this one is very light and like. Literally, uh, could be a Christian Dior fragrance. Totally. I have to highlight this one. Okay. <laughs> and even though the sticker's coming off, because it was in my car in the sun for like ever, I took this one with me everywhere. I have so many bottles, but my friend Hanouf um, created it. It's called 1971, which is like when the UAE was united. Um, and this is inspired by the country, so it smells like Dubai. Okay. You know? And I hope it still smells right, because it was like this one, this bottle is the only one I have left, and it was in my car, so I don't know yeah. if it evolved. But it's so beautiful, and um, it's by the Fashion Vault. So she's created quite a few cool scents. This is another one that is more powdery. Okay. Um, but she makes a lot of the scents herself. Oh wow, nice. No, no, just you know that. what I mean. Like it smells like Dubai. It smells like Dubai, but in a subtle way. Like yeah. you know, it's not straight up. Oud. Yeah. No, it's really nice. I love it. There's some vanilla. I need in more of this. I think she stopped producing it, which is why I'm oh. holding on to. Like life yeah, good with thing this that bottle. she's your best friend because she can make you a little I know. I need her to remake it, recreate it. Oh, but I, I really it. like it. It's wow. nice. Super nice. She's so talented. I'm telling you, she's she's amazing with fragrance. And this is what's the brand called? Um, it's by the Fashion Vault. So that's her shop that she has in Sunset Mall. So the next one I want to highlight is a brand called Arcadia, mm -hmm. um, and this is actually by one of my my very close friends, her sister Amna Habtour. Um, who is also like a perfume lover. Yeah. I remember um, way before I created Kaeli, 
I went to her wedding and she actually gifted everyone her wedding set. And I was like, oh, oh my wow. god, that's so that's cool. That's such a cute idea. Such a cool idea. But she's always been so obsessed with fragrances. So like when she created her brand, I was really excited because I knew it was like a true passion. Yeah. Um, so this is like a very simple like packaging, very like straight to the point. Minimal the juices juice. are very beautiful. This yeah. one's called Hakasu High. When I was watching your video last night, I found it super interesting. I didn't know this, that in like the Middle East, like each person's house, you have like a scent. Yes. I didn't know this. So, it, I mean, this is traditionally, right? Like, yeah. I don't know how many people still do this, but oh, a lot wow, of people nice. will have like their their bahur that they mix themselves. Even my friend Hanouf, she mixes bahur herself at home mm -hmm. with her grandmother's like oud and like all wow. of these special oils that some of it is like super old that she's had for like decades. Would be so worth a lot. <laughs> it's worth so much now and it's so potent, but it's like their home. Yeah. You know, it's their house. The, the people who live in their house wear it, you know, mm -hmm. so it's very special to them. And I, I've seen that a lot through like different friends, mainly like my Emirati friends, like the people from the region. Um, but it's not as common as it used to be. Like it's slowly dying out, which is sad. I love, yeah, I really love to hear that. Like yeah. uh, you would have like, um, you would go to somebody's house and then you would kind of have their scent on and then I you would go it. see someone and they'd be like, oh, you would just like, yes, that's such a totally. like, totally cool story. It is. And it's something so special because it's really part of the like heritage. Exactly. You know, so I hope it's something that we kind of bring back. Bring back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this next one I'd like to share is by Nima. Naima. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I hope I am. Um, but it's a Kuwaiti founder and the scent is called Laya. I actually really love this. Oh, yum. I knew you'd love it. Isn't it <laughs> delicious? This is just so nice. Oh, I it's so one. good. It kind of is like um, that very dark vanilla. Yes. Not that bubbly, playful, mm, girly mm -hmm. girl. Kind of like spirit juice. And they me. launched a, um, oh, a hair nice. mist, which I think is super cool. Oh, oh wow, the hair mist packaging. Cool. Wow. So cute, right? Very cool. So love this one. Um, Kuwaiti founder. Sell, I think they sell in Sephora. They sold in Sephora before. I think they still do. It's really nice, guys. Like Very super nice. beautiful vanilla. Really dark and like sexy. So the last one I want to highlight is it's not a regional brand because um, Roj is technically an English brand, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But this was made for the UAE. So if you see like the cap has all the UAE flag colors. This is called Oud Parfum. So I think it's beautiful. I think you're gonna love it, hopefully. Yes, I um, yeah, just sprayed it actually. It oh, fantastic. Great. It's Divine. like a sweet powdery oud. Oh. So nice. <sighs> really nice. Yeah, I love this one. Me so too. I think this is, you know, Little even though it's not a Middle Eastern Russia. brand, you guys should check it out. Yeah, for sure. Love it. There's a lot more fragrances here, but I think if we keep maybe on we'll going. Do part two. <laughs> yeah, maybe one part two. Yes. Maybe part two, but yes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this was like an experience for me. Like I didn't know literally 90% of these brands. So thank you for showing me and introducing me. Thank you so thank much you. for doing this video with me and sharing uh, with thank my viewers you. about some Middle Eastern brands. So if you guys come to Dubai or Middle East in general, make sure that you think about the brands and watch this video and try some because this video would have been helpful for me when I first came here because I was so lost and I wanted to try things, but it was just too confusing. So there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> a lot. Like if you're a perfume lover and you're planning on coming to Dubai, Save a budget just to go perfume shopping. Yeah, and like, write a list. Like, write yeah, a list. So. There's going to be so much. Thank Thanks, you. guys, and we will see you soon. Bye bye. Bye.